Well, we are here today at the most magical Goodwill in all of the land. <laughs> and we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Now, it is New Year's Eve, which means that the Goodwills are closing today at 5 o'clock. And my goal today is to hit up three Goodwills. So it is already 1230. And that means that I am pressed for time if I plan to hit up three Goodwills. So. We're gonna hustle right in and we're gonna find whatever we can and then we're gonna get out of there. So, here we go. Well, the music is a little loud today, so I am going to do a voiceover, but as you can see, I did pick the largest cart there at the Goodwill because I was feeling optimistic. Today was gonna be a good day. The first shelf I came across, there were a few glass pieces here. The first one I picked up had a modern flammable warning on it. The second one appeared to be a little bit more vintage. It was $1.99 and I liked the smoky glass so I grabbed it. This vase here looked to be a mid-century piece. I liked that it was Hollywood Regency and glitzy. This vase, I did look it over but I suspect it was a modern piece. And this candlestick was definitely a modern piece but I made an exception because it was art glass. And look there's Dagny! She came to join us. The first thing she found was this dragon here for $6.99. And it kind of reminded me of Artesania Rinconata. It was nice, but you could see here on the back that it was missing one of its toes. I am showing off my cart. But you can see Dagny found this awesome trash can. And I loved the theme of it. It's these two bears dancing. It looks to be vintage, but it was just so fun and folk art-y, and I really liked it. So she, she did, she grabbed it. Trash cans, it's where it's at. Of course, one of the first places I checked was the clear glass, because I had such great luck here the last time finding glass from Finland, and I decided to give it a very thorough look this time. I found these bud vases and they were 99 cents, but they just didn't strike me as being anything exceptional. There was a larger vase here in the back and I liked the bubble there. It reminded me of Polish glass, but there was a modern sticker on the bottom made in China. And so it just didn't appeal to me as much as a vintage Polish glass vase. got some candlesticks, other odds and ends there. And then I found this. Now this is from Finland and I'm familiar with it, but there you can see on the rim there is a chip. These pieces, I believe it's a, a drinking glass and they do sell better in sets. So even if it wasn't damaged, it would be kind of back and forth. These for $2.99, this clear glass, even in color, it doesn't really sell that well, so I left that. And the texture of this plate attracted me, but when I removed that, you can see it's a happy birthday plate. The, I liked the smoky glass here, and it was only $0.99. Cents. So because I'm kind of on a smoky glass kick, I decided to grab this. I suspect this bowl might be made from a burl, just the way the grain is, and so I did grab that. I also grabbed this, and I'm not exactly sure the purpose of it, but I do know that it is a cute pottery creature. It kind of looks like a koala. So I, <laughs> it could be a bear, just a straight bear, um, but I did decide to grab that. And these two art pottery pieces here there just was nothing exceptional about them nothing exciting and so I did leave those behind even though they were nicely made I found this glass swan for $1.99 I suspect this is an open salt seller and I have bought and sold these before and I like the yellow this I think is modern or it is old and it has been spray painted but I kind of went back and forth, but for only $2.99, I decided to grab it, whether it's modern or not. I really like the style of it. And there you go, it goes in the cart. The 
we've got two modern candlesticks here you can see the markings on the bottom and these copper shoes just don't really have a very good resale value at all the teapot was not marked and it was not one i was familiar with this soapstone owl unfortunately he has a boo-boo and um, they are very heavy this glass vase just didn't really scream quality to me although it was very colorful and that's what attracted me to it here on the shelf there was this uh, abalone shell and I loved the iridescence it was 99 cents and it already had feet so that it could sit and act as a trinket dish and I decided to grab this. I thought that this was very nice and it would look nice on a dresser with some earrings or just to toss your rings in. And then I found this oil painting and I wasn't quite sure what was happening. It, obviously it's a bird with some string, but I liked the contrast of the red with the yellow. I just thought it was very dramatic and it is marked on the back with the artist's name you can see there helen bailey red bird oil on canvas 1995. so the frame is kind of falling apart but the oil painting is in pretty decent condition and i love grabbing art and i loved this piece because it's got a bird on it This divided dish down here, I thought might be glass, but it's plastic. Then I found this basket, which was kind of, I'm not really sure what's going on here. There is a tag that says vanilla. Um, it's $4.99, but it is marked Bailey. And you can see there, it's also marked on the basket itself, unfortunately. And it is marked in Magic Marker. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that off. Um, if I am able to get it off, I probably will resell it. If not, I may hold on to it. Um, it did come in handy at checkout to carry my items to the car. There was another little coiled basket with a lid here, and I'm not really sure if this is Native American, if it's African, but I liked it. And this long fish shaped basket here um, I was thinking of this as a decor piece I thought this would be great to put in one of our booths whether it's at Antique Marketplace of Le Moyne or Carlisle Antique Mall um, this to me is more of a booth piece but it's a nice decor piece and it looks like a fish so I did grab that I suspect this was a little oil lamp. There was no oil in it, obviously. I don't think it was ever used, but it, there were no signatures, and so I just decided not to mess around with it. And then this. This was really cool. Um, when, you can see there is a chip there on the top, and it was $9.99. Um, I didn't realize how old it was until I turned it over and I saw the bottom, and that was really the telltale sign. And yes, there is damage, but the scene there is called Blind Boy. And it is a transferware coffee pot, probably from the 1820s or 1830s. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, in good condition, these sell for about $400. In the condition that it's in, I'm expecting to get at least $100 for it. So it definitely went into the cart. Now, Dagny found these coasters, and it was kind of a mystery what, what the logo was on those. These coasters were marked silver, which was really exciting. Sometimes these coasters are silver, sometimes they're not, but she found the silver ones, so that's awesome. If you know what the logo is, let us know in the comments, because we're stumped. She also grabbed this tin here for her daughter, who loves corgis. You guys have seen Jenny briefly in videos, but she does love corgis. And she also grabbed this vase, which I had left the last time. Um, it was $2.99. I did look up comps, and it sells for like 10 bucks, so I decided to pass on it. But this art pottery bowl right here, I loved the glaze on it. And for only $1.99, I thought that I'd grab it. The other art pottery pieces down there just didn't really 
strike my fancy. But this chicken right here appears to be Cameron Clay products by that wedge bottom. And um, there is a collector's market for that. So I did encourage her to grab it. She also grabbed this Ikebana dish and this compote. So if you're interested in any of these items, they will be listed up on her eBay shop, which is linked down in the description under shop with our friends. I spotted these restaurant wear plates and they are U.S. Navy. Restaurant wear is always such hit or miss with me, um, but I did decide to grab them and just see how they would do uh, because they have that logo on them. This was an interesting box for only 99 cents and it actually felt like it was empty so I was a little confused but Dagny pointed out that there is a map inside. It's actually a map um, and it is a map that is in Chinese so it's really no good to me. <laughs> this right here appears to be for cards or possibly photographs and it's a nice tollware piece. There's also this planter here. I tried to convince Dagny to take it because she had seen it, but she passed it up and then she realized it was only 99 cents. And I'm like, well, you should take it because it's a good deal. So there you go. These beads right here, I did pick these up, not for resale, but for my daughter because she loves crafting and doing fun craft stuff. And so I figured that she could make some really pretty bracelets with those beads. And usually those beads are, are pretty expensive. They're not cheap. And so for only $4.99, I'll take them. Nicely organized and everything. This cat, I actually have this cat sitting on my desk. And um, the cat I have sitting on my desk does not have a little base. But my cat is uh, tipped on the ear. He's a um, feral cat that has been spayed. Uh, <laughs> He's a fake cat, but I decided to grab this cat because he's not damaged. This was an interesting wine bottle holder, and I liked the way it was put together with those silver details, and for $3.99, I decided to grab this. It was very western-y. There was another one there on the shelf that was a little bit different, more modern looking, uh, more mass produced looking, I guess you could say. And it did still have the sticker on it. I wasn't as interested in this one because it just didn't seem as cool as the one that I found. Um, so I did leave this one there on the shelf. This was adorable. And as I had mentioned, Jenny really likes corgis. And so we picked this up and I was like, hey, look, it's another corgi. But I feel like this was personalized and it was probably a corgi named Rudy. And so there wasn't really a whole lot to do with that. Back there, I noticed some pottery and it looked to be onion pattern. However, it was marked on the bottom um, with air Asian characters. This was a carved wooden bear. And he was so lightweight that it took me a moment to realize that he was made of wood. But I did decide to grab this for 99 cents just because he was a cute little wooden bear. I figured I could triple my money on that, at least. I love figurines. I found another basket here. This was another coiled basket. Uh, this was $1.99. This one, I'm not really sure about. I feel like this one could be some mass-produced, sold-at-Target type deal. But I liked it aesthetically, and so I did decide to grab it. Then I found a rock for $1.99. Um, but it's not just any rock. It's a vase rock, and it's signed on the bottom by Lee something. Dagny found a hand there on the shelf. It's kind of interesting. And she found these plates, which are chicken of the sea plates. I have bought and sold the salt and pepper shakers before, but I have never seen the plates. So that was kind of interesting. Um, they were $3.99 a piece, and it, she did look them up, and I believe they sold between $8 and $12 a piece on eBay. So there really wasn't enough profit there to make make it worthwhile so she did end up leaving those behind 
I be, I'm not sure about this. It kind of struck me as being a cell phone hold, holder, but I'm not sure. The plates underneath I was kind of interested in, but there were no markings on them, so I just wasn't sure, and I really wasn't that committed to them anyway. Down here on the bottom shelf, there was a whole box of plates, and they kind of looked to be old ironstone, but the back said Churchill, and it was clearly a modern mark, so I didn't really want to mess with those. And here's the Easter section. There's really not a whole lot for Easter, but I did find these. They are napkin holders, and they kind of had like a fun folk art type appeal to them. I believe they are wooden. But they were $3.99, and I just decided to grab those for Easter. And then I went straight to Christmas, and I found Santa on the shelf. He looked to be vintage, and whenever I come across vintage, I just grab it. Dagny found these canisters and unfortunately they were damaged, so she did leave those. Then she found this scarf, which was really, really exciting because it was marked. You could see the tag there. And so she decided to look it up, and some of the prices that this stuff was selling for was just absolutely crazy. Um, and that's coming from me because I'm not a clothes seller and I don't mess with this stuff, but that was really impressive, and it made me rethink looking at scarves and looking at ties and stuff all right well our total spend here at the legendary goodwill was seventy dollars and i feel like we got some really really great stuff for seventy dollars especially that blind boy coffee pot i'm really excited about that even with the chip i think we're going to do quite all right on that um and we got some other good odds and ends today i kind of had this whole boho thing going with the wood and the, the wicker and everything it felt good it was like a good feeling it made me feel happy um, but anyway i'm gonna get out of here now i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all tomorrow later